Anton Pavlovich Chekhov. An Enquiry It was midday. The landowner, Voldirev, a tall, fattish farmer with a close-cropped head and bulging eyes, took off his overcoat and wiped his forehead with a silk handkerchief, then entered the office somewhat diffidently. The clerk's pens were squeaking. Where might I make an enquiry? he asks the hall porter, who is carrying glasses on a tray from somewhere in the depth of the establishment. I need to make an enquiry and get hold of a copy from the Register of Judgments. This way, sir, please. Go to that one over there, the one sitting by the window, replies the porter pointing with the tray toward a distant window. Voldorev coughed and made for the window. There, beneath a green baize table, spotted like someone with typhus, sat a young man with four tufts of hair on his head, a long, pimply nose, and a faded uniform. With his long nose pushed down toward the paper, he was busy writing. Beside his right nostril, a fly was taking a stroll, and the young man frequently shoved forward his lower lip and directed a puff of air under his nose, an action which endowed his face with an extremely careworn expression. Perhaps I may hear from you, that is, Volderev addressed him, Make an enquiry about some business of mine. My name is Volderev, and I need also to obtain a copy from the Register of Judgments of the 2nd of March. The clerk dipped his pen in the inkwell, then examined it to see if he had taken on too much ink. Having assured himself that the pen would not blotch, he started scratching away. His lower lip had stretched forward, but a puff was no longer necessary. The fly had settled on his ear. "'May I make an enquiry here?' Volderev repeated his request. "'My name is Volderev, a landowner.' "'Ivan Alexeitch!' shouted the clerk into the air, as if he had not noticed Volderev. Will you tell the merchant Yalikov when he comes that he must witness the copy of the affidavit to the police? I've told him a thousand times. I'm inquiring in relation to a difficulty I have with the inheritors of Princess Gugulina, mumbled Volderev. It is a well-known case. I do earnestly ask you to look at it for me. Still not noticing Volderev, the clerk seized the fly from his lip, examined it attentively, then chucked it aside. The landowner coughed and blew his nose into his checkered handkerchief, but it produced no effect. He was still ignored. The silence dragged on for two more minutes. Then Volderev took from his pocket a one-ruble note and placed it in front of the clerk on an open book. The clerk frowned, pulled the book toward him with an anxious look, then covered it. I have a small request. I simply would like to know on what basis the inheritors of Princess Skugulina might I disturb you in this matter? But the clerk, preoccupied with his own thoughts, stood up, scratched his elbow, and then went to the cupboard for something or other. On returning to his desk a minute later, he again busied himself with a book. Lying upon it was a one-ruble note. I will trouble you only for a minute. It's a small enquiry, only. The clerk did not hear him. He started to copy something. Volderev 
frowned and helplessly looked round at the entire scribbling fraternity. They scribble away, he thought, with a sigh. They scribble away here. Damn the lot of them! He left the desk and stood in the middle of the room, his arms hanging down in dejection. The porter, going past again with some glasses, noticed in all probability the helpless expression on his face, because he went up to him and asked quietly, Well, how was it? Have you made your inquiry? I made my inquiry, but nobody wants to talk to me. Well, just give him three roubles, whispered the porter. I've already given him two. Give him another, then. Valderev returned to the desk and laid on an open book a green one-rouble note. The clerk again drew the book towards himself and busily went on copying. Then suddenly, as if by accident, he lifted up his eyes and saw Valderev. His nose shone, he reddened and frowned as he smiled. Ah, how can I help you? he asked. I would like to make an inquiry relative to some business of mine. My name is Valderev. Very pleased to meet you. Concerning the Gugolina affair. Excellent, sir. So what is it exactly that bothers you, speaking personally? Valderev presented him with his request. The clerk came to life, as if he had been seized by a whirlwind. He gave the information, made arrangements to have a copy of the document, offered a chair, and all this in a single moment. He even chatted about the weather and asked about the harvest. And, when Valderev left, he accompanied him down the stairs, charmingly and politely smiling, and giving the appearance that at any moment he was ready to prostrate himself in front of the petitioner in obeisance. Valderev, for some reason, began to feel awkward, and, yielding to an internal prompting, he took a one-rouble note from his pocket and gave it to the clerk. The latter was all the time bowing and smiling, and he accepted the note like a conjurer, so that it merely flashed in the air and disappeared. Hmm, that's folks for you, the landowner thought to himself as he came out onto the street, and he stood and mopped his brow with his handkerchief. <laughs>